I've always had a love of glass pressed beads. And when the jewelry making buying team approached me earlier this year and asked me if I'd like to design and launch my very own bead, of course I jumped at the opportunity. So myself, Zena and the team flew to Prague where we then traveled to the famous Crystal Valley. We're here at the airport, just about to get on the plane, about to design Mark's Oh, Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to the Czech Republic! <laughs> Woohoo! Hello everyone. I am so excited to not only be here in the beautiful Czech Republic, but we're actually here at our, one of our bead factories where we're actually going to be making jewelry maker history because we're just about to pop inside where we're going to be sitting down with the design team putting together the first ever jewelry maker seed bead. Can't tell you how excited I am. So I think you should join me, follow me inside. Walking into the manufacturers was somewhat nerve wracking but very, very exciting. Oh, and yes, I really couldn't help myself here. We then went through to have a meeting with Susanna, the head of manufacturing, where we started to pitch my ideas for my three new beads. So I have come up with three ideas. Okay. I have trawled the internet to find other shapes that are similar or have the same design. And I'm hoping that nothing of this shape or form is out there. Mm -hmm. If it is out there, then you'll have to, you'll be the first to tell <laughs> me. So the first um, image I've come up with is a bead called the dart mm -hmm. okay so it's an arrow shape mm -hmm. okay and i'm imagining so i've, I've made a, a pattern mm -hmm. to show that it will all tessellate mm -hmm. whether you decide to have beads in between or beads around the edge mm -hmm. you can even make um beads beady beads with them to make shapes so that's the overall shape three holes oh, yeah okay so can one, work one yeah. through the top one halfway through the sides mm -hmm. and then one through the base. Mm -hmm. So we can have them all pointing into the center as mm -hmm. we've got here. So you can bead around the center, around the middle. And then if we wanted to, so this would be the group of four, then we can open it out to a group of three mm -hmm. with more beading in between. And then that'll give you scope to add more beads around. And then it's up to you then if you're making necklace shapes, how you would then... Yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice. Okay. It's great. So once we had agreed the designs with Susanna, the head of manufacturing, she then had to run the bead shapes past the development manager to see if the shapes would actually work. And then we had to make some small adjustments. Then we were given the green light to go ahead. So after much deliberation, we have decided on the three names for my new ranges. The first one is going to be called the dart. So that's it, that's our afternoon finished. Three ranges, not just one, all designed. They've had the all clear, they've had the green light. So watch this space. So as you've heard, right from the sketching to the development stages, it's been quite a journey this year. So I hope you can join myself and Carol on the morning show of Wednesday, the 4th of December for the launch of the Mark Smith dart bead. <laughs>